Hey guys, what's up Spartan 85? Today we're checking out If Sun Sets the Demo. It's free on Steam right now. The game is planned to be released in October of 24, so just to hear it about a month or so. I'd say it's similar to like Dawn of Defiance. It has a little maybe enshrouded feel, uh, Night of the Dead, maybe something like that. I really enjoyed playing this. I played it on a, a live stream and uh, the audience seemed to really enjoy it too. Uh, they kind of spawn you into this world and you can create your own character beforehand and all that stuff. You have this little fairy you have to kind of talk to. And it's, I guess, your little tutorial helper. And she, <laughs> Blitvia is her name, but she kind of tells you what you got to do. Hey, you need to go hack some wood and you need to build a uh, base. Basically, at 7 o'clock game time, you have to fight a horde of monsters. Or I would say the game does have kind of a Night of the Dead feel, the way that crafting, the way you... Uh, you know, you build certain things. And so I kind of went the horde base with Night of the Dead thinking that, and you guys will see here in a little bit, but there is some quirkiness to it. You can loot this little text box, this black text box at the top here. You actually have to make it go away. It'll just stay there, but the looting's pretty fun. You can, they start off on this little island here and you can loot these containers and you can find some useful things here. They give you a healing potion. Uh, there are some wildlife here, as you can see, here's a crab here. I'm trying to figure out what the heck, how, what are you and how do I kill you and how do I eat you? But you can kill them. You can cook them up. There are coconuts you can get from the trees. I kind of struggled a little bit finding the coconuts. I think it's a little bit of a bug getting the coconuts to fall from the tree. But yeah, here's the crafting menu here. You can craft a stone hatchet, stone pickaxe, club, spear, and the intro quest wants you to craft uh, a stone hatchet. So you can start uh, cutting down trees, of course. So there's the club. And basically, you have to start off building a workbench. So you can start building better items like the bow, the arrows, and uh, all that great. I'm trying, to craft, I'm trying to craft some cloth right here. See, so I can craft a spear. Um, a lot of harvesting. <laughs> a lot of harvest. A lot of harvesting wood here. I finally killed the crab. I got my retribution, so here I am with the spear chasing this crab up a rock. That's like the, the combat's a little janky right now. I mean, that spear nowhere near the crab. And you loot them, you can get the crab meat, and then you can cook the crab meat up. Here I'm trying to complete the coconut quest where you gotta hack down trees to get coconuts, but coconuts are not falling from the trees. So I really don't know what's up with that. Picked up a mushroom, do some more looting. Later on, I will say I did find uh, coconuts. It just takes a little longer. Um, I will say also, oh, here is the uh, skill trees that you can level up. You can choose what skill tree you want to go into. I chose power to go into, but there's power, agility, transition, and technology. And so there's a lot of this is locked right now with the demo. Uh, it just says coming soon or be added later, something like that. So, um, but I will say there is a map. There is a decent sized map that I explore later on in the video. So you can probably start here, do your intro quest and then go into the map. If you want, just keep in mind, there are boars. Now, this, this kind of show the, uh, jankiness of the combat. Just, I'm trying to. I don't know why I did. I jumped over the crab and uh, I'm sitting here trying to whack them. But just keep in mind, there are boars throughout the map and other wildlife you have to deal with. See, I'm hitting him and he's not dying. So this is the Catholga stone altar kind of thing. Basically, if you get three Catholga stones, you can make a sacrifice to this fire and stop the horde for that night. You have a horde every day. It's a horde every night series, basically. So you have to give an offering to stop the horde that night. So that's kind of nice if you want to maybe venture into the map a little more, or maybe you're working on something, a quest of some sort, you can give an offering to stop the horde that night. And honestly, the Catholga stones are pretty easy to craft. So I think by the end of the video, I crafted uh, three and I could craft even more if I wanted. So here's the jungle kind of part that's off the beach here. Just kind of checking it out. I'm hacking down a tree here, but um, it's a beautiful looking game, by the way. It really is a beautiful game. This is kind of a dead end here, but yeah, you can go further off the beach into the island. Uh, there is a boar up here that I'm going to encounter here in just a minute. There he is up there. And this is where, this is probably where we have some good weapons. And he charges you and 
he will kind of back off just a little bit, but I went and just decided to fight him. Like I said, combat's, I mean, I'm hitting with a spear. He is a big boar, but combat could be a tad better. And I know I'm comparing this to other games. So I do have healing potions and food. I will say that also there's a hunger bar. There's a thirst bar. There's nothing like Daisy where you have to eat proteins and carbs and stuff like that. It's just hunger and thirst. So you keep an eye on that. There also is a heat and a cold temperature bar below all that, as you can see. So I just put down the workbench. I crafted the workbench and that allows me to craft more items like the bow, the arrow, and just other items. Um, and you can also craft the door in the workbench, which I'll be showing that later that you, it's kind of like uh, enshrouded where you have to craft the door uh, completely separate and, and place it. So there's the campfire. You can cook in the campfire. There's also a cooking pot, cooking stove kind of thing. Here's the bow and arrow. Boom. Got that. Got that crab. The bow and arrow works very well, I will say. It's very satisfying. So, strong organs. I went into agility, strong organs, which basically lets you harvest, or have to use less food and water. I really like the structure here. I think the devs kind of put it here to kind of show you a structure, like an example structure to build. And I wish I could have built something more like that. Uh, that's my own fault. I should have taken their example. But like I said, I was feeling very Night of the Dead inspired. By this so I tried to build a Night of the Dead style base where you build like the uh, the you know this kind of like a pier that you have the, that you have the monsters run across kind of funnel them to you so I was and uh, I will say the it doesn't lock the greatest I'm kind of showing that right here doesn't quite lock the greatest kind of have to you know mess around a little bit with it it just doesn't want to lock but like I said if I could do this again or I probably will try it again when the game actually comes full release. I would probably build a structure similar to what the devs built. I think that would work better uh, for the zombie hordes that the game gives you, as you guys will see here in just a little bit. Um, I think I think elevation is probably key. But like I said, feeling Night of the Dead inspired. I'm building just a little, uh, just kind of a three by three structure here with a pier that I'm hoping the zombies will cooperate and go up. A Across. I started building these small walls because I just thought that's what you're supposed to do, not realizing that there's other uh, defenses in there. And this is where I struggled with the door. You see me scratching my head like, what the heck? I put down a door frame, but there is no craftable door in the building function. So chat said, hey, take a break. Go look at this boat over here. So that's what I did. I went over here and there's the Kraken. There's uh, a lot of the lore you read in the game talks about the Kraken. Kraken has something to do, some control over this island. Finally found the coconut, so hopefully we get to see the Kraken later. But anyway, uh, kind of a big part of this game is hacking down wood. As you can see, this tree is not hackable. I tried that, so there is just a little bit of a bug there. Uh, you cannot cut down that tree. This is where I'm trying to put a wall in for the door. Like, hey, if I can't put a door, can I put a wall? Anyway, you have to craft the door in the workbench. So putting down some more traps, cutting down some more trees. Like I said, it's kind of the theme of that first day is cutting down trees. Then I discovered, hey, there's these walls that have like spikes on them. Why don't I use those? Let's. And so initially I put down the wrong wall. This is just a standard like defensible wall, but it doesn't have spikes. Then I found the spikes. This is a spike wall that I will say you guys will see it here in a minute. It, don't run into them too. It causes damage. But these are awesome for the horde. Put these down. They they work great, especially for the first horde. I'm not sure if we get more enemies later hordes or if they just get stronger. What happens? So and then I put down some spikes. These little spike traps work very well. Like I said, I think building an elevated structure of some sort and putting those spikes around would be really good. This is like a spike bundle you can put down. And then this is my Night of the Dead thing. So I'm putting down spike bundles on this pier, hoping the zombies will come, and I guess they're zombies. I think they're more monsters, but hopefully they'll come this way. Like I said, that's what I tried. I put down another wall. I think we're ready to go. I kind of walled myself in is what I did because, you know, the horde starts at seven o'clock. It's uh, one minute away from that. So here is the horde. Here it, here it goes. It's kind of dark. So I had a torch out at first. Um, like I said, the defenses 
work pretty well. As you can see, they're taking damage on the defenses. They're dying. Um, you can use your bow and arrow if you want to hack to hit them with that. They do like to climb the walls, the little walls here in front of me. So I had to kind of keep an eye on that. There's one right there getting close. But like I said, these spikes are pretty OP. Um, not, there you go. There's one climbing the wall there. So just kind of keep an eye on that. Uh, overall, I enjoy it, though. It's a pretty, pretty fun. It's it's like an arcade feel a little bit. You can kind of have a, you have a kill count up there at the top left. I'm already up to 155 kills. So it's pretty. I kind of like that. I kind of like the arcade feel of it. It's like, you know, it's not so much, um, you know, the intri the intricate and being like so so serious about it. It's you know just kind of an arcade feel, and interested to see how the hordes progress. Do they get harder? Are there bigger enemies? Are there tanks? Are there enemies that destroy your base? Like, uh, you know, cops or demolishers or something like that in Seven Days to Die or like, you know, Night of the Dead has that too. But yeah, they like to climb. They're all dying just around me. I'm up to 250 kills right now. Um, I do, I do, I tried to, I'm trying to use a healing potion here. So I don't know that you can put them in your hot bar and use them from there. So I just use them from the inventory. Um, there's kind of a bigger zombie there, bigger monster there. Um, it kind of mellowed out just a little bit. I'm up to 370 kills now, and it kind of mellowed out, and then it picked back up. I finally discovered that you could hit the monsters through the wall here, and I was kind of had an epiphany moment. So I'm like, hey, you can hit them through the walls. So, which is even better. You can see I'm hitting with the spear. So sure you can do that with a club that's why the spear is pretty nice but they can hit you through the wall too so keep that in mind they can they can whack you through it um uh, i think i already said the demo is free if you guys want to play it right now it's on steam no uh word on if it's coming to consoles or anything like that um so and hopefully we get access to the entire map the demo is a timer i believe so you can play it for just a little bit and check out the map and then like i said the game releases in october of 24 so looking pretty good like i said maybe a night and maybe a combination of enshrouded and night of the dead with um with some maybe some dawn of defiance kind of mixed in so it has that kind of dawn of defiance feel i'm up to 550 kills right now and uh you can kind of see there's a timer for the horde two or 10 seconds left so you have a timer it's telling you and i've already accumulated you know 2200 xp so it's, it's pretty cool how they do that. And then at the very end, you collect all of this stuff, all the XP, you collect all the loot. There's all kinds of bones that you collect all the arrows and stuff. Cause there are some enemies with arrows. And so finally I decided, Hey, let's check out the rest of this map. Let's there's gotta be more to this, right? I mean, there's, so that's why I decided to go ahead and explore and uh, collect some more resources. Kind of wander around like i said i did find enough kafolga stones to bypass the horde night tonight if i wanted to so that's kind of nice i kind of gives you like maybe a breath because like i said it's already nine o'clock a.m we have a horde coming at in just eight game hours which does move pretty fast so but like i said i did find the rest of the map we're kind of exploring a little bit um we go up this tree here and we find a bird's nest butterflies are all you can you can catch the butterflies too and use them for different recipes. This fairy follows you around everywhere. Uh, gets kind of annoying a little bit, but uh, yeah, found this. There's, there's some lore you can read. There's a bird's nest you can search. I totally missed this pot of gold. A chat had to come back and tell me, hey, dummy, go get that pot of gold. And in true uh, Spartan fashion, um, here, just a second, here I go, <laughs> here I go falling to my death, breaking my leg and dying. So yes, there is fall damage in this game. <laughs> Here is the map, and you can't access it by placing M. I kind of discovered that a little later, but uh, here is the map, and you can spawn. I believe you can spawn at these red, um, these red, uh, red things are points of interest, but you can also spawn in different spots, I believe, too. So I go up here and I grab the coin, like chat told me to go do. So there's coin. There is a repair kit, some coin, and then a purified Catholga stone. But so there's coin in the game. I'm guessing there is something you can do with coin later on. Maybe a trader, maybe wandering traders. Maybe there's a town you can go to to buy stuff. I kind of found this little tent village here. I checked out for a minute. And 
uh, like the map, and there's my open, there's my loot container. Front man, there's an elk who you can kill. Um, but yeah, you have to go get your backpack after you die, kind of like any other survival game. So, but yeah, I kind of wander around just a little bit. Um, you can kind of see my thirst and my hunger is getting down a little bit, so you got to keep an eye on that. This is a cave here. The game's warning me about, basically saying, "Hey, dummy, I wouldn't go in there unless you have some good weapons." Uh, so there's something in there, some type of, you know, um, point of interest in there. Another elk. Plenty of wildlife in the game. And there's plenty of boars, as you'll see here in just a second. <laughs> so this is kind of the boar area. That's why I said it's, I wouldn't wander too far off the beach before you maybe get some good tools and weapons. Lots of arrows. There doesn't really, there is a sneak function in the game, but I don't think you get bonuses from using sneak. You can see this boar is way harder to kill than the last one I dealt with. And he actually ends up murdering me. So this is about the time I had to call it quits for the day. I had a lot of fun playing this game. Uh, I think it has a lot of potential. There's a few bugs that need to be worked out. But overall, pretty happy with this game. I think uh, I'll be checking out the full release. And I'll catch you guys later. Bye.